Jones. First opportunity then. World Cup debut against Georgia, 25 points. A couple of tries. Good with ball in hand as well. And want for an easier kick to get him up and running. And Australia up and running. He does exactly that. A couple of minutes gone. Australia with a 3 0 lead. Calm, controlled, relaxed start from Australia. And I think Fiji really need to concentrate on that tackle height because Andrew Brace has already given a warning so early on in the match. Number 10 shirt for Fiji. Inside. Hold in front of Australia. Cruelly injured. In training ahead of this World Cup. He was the chosen man by Simon Rela Louis. We saw a little bit earlier on. Good gap on This Australia. man trusted with the number 10 shirt. The Quay Cooper. Uh, he's gone for the younger choice, but he's incredibly exciting. Gordon, last week, first kick of the game, he got charged down. Then he stood about 12 metres away gave himself the space, but it meant that he didn't clear the lines and Fiji is starting in the attacking half. Ball is lifted. Very volley. Preferred at scrum half. Karevi there to Fijian runners. Australia keeping themselves out of the rucks at the moment. This is nice from Fiji. Out on the wing today, he will want to forget those last moments of that Wales game, of course, taking that pass. Phil Edwards, the ball first. Timing's okay. There he is. Yeah, and it's a big point we, about Fiji, we, isn't it? Got good, what's Ability it? Yeah, to got reload good, mentally and physically. That Wales Very game nice. has taken a huge amount Thanks, out of them. Man. Speaking to the camp yesterday, lot and lot of recovery. Some yeah. tired bodies, yeah. some tired minds. Time off, play it down. Um, I mean, what yeah. they went through last week physically and emotionally was massive. But they have Chris. rotated some players, bringing on, on some some reasonably fresh people to a sober starting in the... Ten meters. In the centre. Semi. And it's meters. not necessarily this first half that we're going to see that. It will be creeping into the latter end of the game, 60, 70, 80, meter, 80 minutes. Matavex is good footballer. Hooker for Fiji. Nice level, the captain. Who's <laughs> France? Well, Stafford, say, player. Fallen in out of Toulon. Fiji attacking those wide areas. They do it so well. It's an area that Georgia had issues with. Making a Australia defend out wide. Stop. Forward pass. Forward pass. Better from Fiji though. It's going through the phases. Some big carries yeah, have got some right. nice shape Pardon? out the back. Yeah. You can it's see it's Australia right. trying to take the, the time away was... from the Fijian attack by coming up quick, it's but they nice are offering an edge. It's a couple nice of times, Fiji yeah. have thrown Thanks, that man. wider ball, which has allowed the Australians to shift across. So really I think that was a little bit rash really from Andrandra then. Yeah. Probably could have Slow just calmed it down, everybody. used the pod that was with him. Balance but what's scary about this Fijian attack is their forwards are like backs and their backs are like forwards, whether that's physicality or skills. Set. Good. Kind of those nuts and bolts, haven't they? Proving that set piece no end. Plenty of tries coming from that area. Yeah, Valor's lock on. Valor. Just lost on in the air. Just got himself in the way. 
Chapman, Australia knocked the ball off. Yeah. And Wupani to Wasek. An impressive winger. That's a good battle as well, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. Two of the most athletic players in the game at the moment. Karevi showing that we might be talking about two or so in the 12 share, but as the guys highlighted at the top of the show, he is a huge carrier, incredible centre. Same on their ball, seconds. The battle between those two is amazing, but you'll notice he probably won't run into two or so. He'll be, he'll be running at ta Tale, the yeah. Fijian 10, who's a little bit smaller. Okay, let's go again. Quick reset. Most of the press conference yesterday. Quickly, fellas, let's go. Thank you. Use forwards coach. Just the, the reason for the swap. To a solo. Power runners that Australia have in their midfield. Interesting answer. Use it! Ruby and Pataya. Field for Australia. It's around. gone round. No go forward, just around. We're going forward, so we will reset. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Happy here? Yeah, okay, let's go right quickly. Inside, Dow Gibson. If I call use it, it's either going to be his day. Reset, okay? Glenn Jackson on his other side. Reset, okay? yeah, just looking at that scrum there. Guru Volley yeah. needs to quickly make sure then, he's fellas, talking and, and linking with Mata. Find up. Andrew Bass did say use it, but also the scrum was wheeling round to the left, which actually makes it a harder pass and invites that Australian back row into the channel where the ball is going to be going. Whether that's a tap, whether that's talking, but it's so loud here. That relationship's really important. Say hi! And use it! Jim Slipper on me, Ty Hedden. Switched over from the loose. Nice the level. Big Bill Matter comes in. Steaming, charging up. Arnold. That is a shot from him. <laughs> Playing advantage. I do that. Tale. You hear what the crowd think of the decision. Don't do that, please. Don't pass the ball into him on the floor, okay? <laughs> yeah, can't do that whatsoever. Yeah. Tell the reaction in the coaching box and seeing it live, Nolly. Quick ball. Okay. Good to see why. Ball is not played on. I think because Andrew Brace could see that Kubrivoli was up, like trying to hunt for a penalty by saying he's offside, but he's actually already got it. For Arnold rolling on the wrong side, but. I think we're going to see a lot of that because the Fijian carriers are so strong, they're so big, and they accelerate into contact. So what happens is the defender often rolls onto the wrong side, and you've got to get out of there. You've got to. We talk about rolling from edge to edge rather than um, north to south, and that was an easy picture for Andrew Bass to give the penalty. Kicking duties, my apologies. <laughs> Levels things up. That's only about one game. Yeah. to see the scrum half kicking for goal. That's his first ever kick in international rugby. Just assumed it'd be Talek. Seven, no kick a good gap. Conversion against Wales on his debut. In an opening round. More. Over. Say last three, two. 
Back towards his forwards down that short side. Great impact against Georgia off the bench. Very, very canny customer. Great footballer as well. Backwards. Hooper. Carter Gordon thinks he's seen something down that short side as well. Lost forward into Fox. That's in the post. It was lost forward, went straight out to touch. We will. Lost forward from Gold. Take the scrum down. I think Maui just said to Carter Gordon, there's yeah, no room down here, mate. Boom! That's a big old hit. Interestingly, looking at the way yeah. that the Australians are attacking yeah. twice now, they punched up through the middle yeah. with Karevi, then they bounced back down the, the short line. side, Last whether Eddie them. Jones and his no, team have looked at yeah. the Fijians and the way that they, they, they're they folding. Just just higher binds. Okay, good height Down and that short and, side. And, and better on the, on that or last not run, getting yeah. into position, whether they're trying Thanks. to get them offside. Yeah, no. Slipper. Who's down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his third start at yeah, yeah. head prop. Yeah, yeah. Against yeah, Ronnie Maui. Yeah. Yeah. Just a big tackle on Carter Gordon, who's not a small Slips man. On. Keep that shoulder out, I think, uh, and just hit. I thought it was just, yeah. I thought it was a good contest. I thought it was a good contest. Okay, happy, fellas? Happy? It was a relaxed training run here yesterday for Australia. Andy Jones allowing the Come media on. extra time than the allotted slot. Came out straight away, came straight to a group of young Australian boys here on rugby tour and a few games in France alongside the Bounce! World Cup it's been ages talking to the coach Bounce! how do you feel about Eddie Jones he does Six love down. his rugby Bounce! now we put him pressure on slipper he's just it's just thing up in there isn't it Nolly yeah, Slipper has been managed go this week. The right, so Australian yeah, coaches talked about he, him being looked after. Time off. Yeah. I think there. Don't go head on head, fellas. I don't want you head on head. I it's Maui it. just slipping through. Okay. Got to be careful of that right arm. It's going to be messy, okay? Come on. Time on. Come on, Slipper. Built. Good heights. Oh, huge, huge carrier for Fiji. Bind. The ball in hand. Going for it. 22 times against Wales, the most Fijian side. Here come Fiji. And Good tackle. Karevi Valentini came up very quickly, cut out the pass of Kruvoli. Australia penalty. Unbelievable cover tackle from Karevi. The carry from Tuasova right up to the line. Thanks, and the handling Three to shift. Back on First man but to the stop ball. Randrandra dead Three then. The ball. Took all the momentum away from an unbelievable carry before that. I think he kind of blindsided him because he was looking at Donaldson and all of a sudden Karevi came flying out of nowhere. It's interesting, isn't it? Seven native Fijians in this that, Australian side. Bruce Green was talking about a little bit of beef, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, this game kicked yeah, off in the studio. Somewhere Louis was asked about it this week. He said he's proud of the Fijians. Play all over the world. Good to have 30 Fijians on the field. Yeah, not on advantage. More the better, I say. No advantage. No advantage. <laughs> They're quite lucky that, because normally if you yeah. kick the ball, it's advantage over. Yeah. That was a terrible kick, but. Yeah. Yeah. Lost forward in the tackle, Fiji ball. 
the contact then instead of it being Karevi, it's Valentini, another big unit punching down through the middle, obviously trying to split that Fijian defensive line. Last scrum's excellent. Spot here, wasn't it? Hands in there. Same again, please. Oh, specialist. Oh, 35 years, yeah. Crowds! Oh, this man in the Fijian squad. Boys! Four turnovers win. Point. These two met in the last World Cup. Second inside, but he only found Nick White, the Australian scrum half. Play on, Chris. Look at once. It's the Australian side. Here's Fraser McWright. Wait. First 17 minutes has absolutely flown by. Nick Frost. Is this one bouncing? In goal. Hudson. And we will take it all the way back. It's interesting, isn't it? Both sides feeling each other out. And Nick White was class when he came on last week. His kicking variation really added to the Australian attack. Whether it be drilling it down for an ever so close 50 22, but here yeah. where we're seeing okay. get the ball to Karevi and yeah. let's do some damage. But it's a, a nice option, I think, to put it over because the Australian line out is functioning really well. Just the bounce of the ball not going in his favour. Yeah, when you're ready, mate. No, I was just saying when you're ready. Crowds! His left hand side. Regarded man. And their scrum was good against Georgia. Strong Georgian side. That 35 15 went to his over. Straight over the top of Carter Gordon. Trusty seat. Down to his opposite number, Ben Donaldson. Hold on, says Australia. Very assured at fullback, isn't he? And Donaldson. They played 83 minutes of Test rugby before the game against Georgia. And player of the match. Respect, respect the gap, please. One of these. Yeah, he was brilliant last week. And that kick was absolutely massive. Numbers, Fiji? Then, Five. But his coverage in the backfield, his goal kicking, he took his try really well. He looked incredibly comfortable and confident back there in the 15 Long shirt. 15, line out over. Carried well as well. Speaking of carrying his body and Matavesi. I don't know if they're watching down in the Cornwall. He can't get a clean because you're on the wrong side. Number eight, taking the space. He's good. He Number eight, up. taking the space. Fiji can't get a clean out. Fijian captain says we'll go for first post. Good. Eight taking the space. Take the lead. Right at the end of this first quarter. Andrew Brace talking there about taking the space, basically meaning that he was on the wrong side. McWright. So therefore the Fijian supporters couldn't come in and look after the ball and that contest needs to be clear for the defence to get there for a jackal but also for the attack. Hold still please, Australia. Just back from that shoulder injury. Volley in his ninth cap. Double his international tally. Oh, it's sailing high, it's sailing true. Fiji have the lead. Six points to three.
I did wonder why Lamani, who's such a live wire, so experienced, is on the bench, but I think we are seeing why. Munts was a massive loss to them in the 10 shirt, but Kuruvali stepping up to do the kicking. Just the whole of the three seasons. And use it! Fiji drew up. That's one of the reasons Fiji proved it. Year after year, that top level competition on a regular basis. And I think it's fair to say, Nolly Waterman, they are up for this one. I think take the crowd the are as well, everyone is. Australia, you can take the line. And this is everything for Fiji. Take the line, Australia. Australia. If they do not get a win here, they're pretty much the out is. of the contention for the quarterfinal. They're done. Step, please, on the line, on the line. Come in, Fiji. And well. they come in, they come in incredibly, they should come in incredibly confident because they should have won last week against Wales. They're calling it do or die. They pick up those bonus points, didn't they, against Wales. Wales picking up their bonus point right to the death yesterday. Good contest, then went off. To a sober, spin it, like a pinball. A cool volley on it. And away. Some of the Fijian heavy runners. The tight head, his turn. That's a basic. Not on advantage. Australia, Vanage turning over. that ball over. G. Arnold, the referee was happy with it, so and Australia find themselves <laughs> way down. With the Hase, back inside. They took the quick line out of the try, has been given. Now, Wonka needs a Wase with the first try this game. And it's speed of mind as much as speed of foot. They're looking at Arnold whether he played the ball on the ground by pushing his arm into that. Nick White, 50 22, absolutely nailed. Now, what can he to Wasse being very, very clear on the rules? making sure the ball went five yeah. metres to Karevi and backed up his pass from the quick line out. Thanks, mate. That's incredibly intelligent play from the Australians. And that last break aren't happy. And goes completely against the run of the game. Just hearing in our ear, Andrew Brace is happy with that ruck. For them, still protesting. Okay, it's not fun. Thank you. Hamilton just switched that one across the face of the post. Two points, the difference there. Uh, Australia's first try. Here it is, Nolly. You can see why they're complaining, but. Yeah, last. Fundamentally, his arm is just I'm pushing. Sorry. It's not actually pushing the ball. It's just pushing the ball carrier's arm. But the intelligence to take the quick line out, the work rate to get there from Karevi as well. That's a wonderful set from the Australians. Some more. Quick thinking. Final's not on. Not done from Australia. Good of volley. And it's not done again. Over there. Okay, okay, okay. Tang it. Final's clearly over. Just too eager to yeah. smash into another Australian defender. Clearly over. He's ran from there, guys. Yeah. Okay, left of the mark, guys. Let's go. Just Australia. lack of control, the ball was at yeah, the back of, at the front over. of the mall. Yeah. Yeah. You can see how Fiji want to play with tempo and excitement, but... Left the mark. Oh, the pick-up. 
Fun option from the Fijian coach. Part of Australia's Cold nine penalty here, high tackle. Coaching team in 2019. Okay, time off. Action is a Having a look for a high tackle. Brian McNeese is our television match official. And introduced him every week. Paper. Speak the assistant referees. Players falling down, first wheel bind. Yeah, players falling down, it is high, it's a penalty on the against nine gold. Very bright? Yes, I agree. Yeah. High tackle. Yeah, nice and clear between Good the point. officials. I tackle penalty only. It's a good spot from the officials. When you when you tend to put your arm like that, where you're seeing with Nick White, it's to slap across, but often to attack the ball to try and knock it out of the player's hands. But good spot, definitely just a penalty for me. It's often said, isn't it, that Fiji, everybody's second favourite team. The evidence is all around us, 42,000. Packed in here, Senetia. Plenty of green and gold jerseys. Enjoying everything that Senetia has to offer. Two from two so far. He's First two kicks in international rugby. Oh, he's kicking like a dream. It may be so, so important. It's absolutely massive, Johnny, and I think the big improvement we've seen with Fiji has been around their set piece and their platform. It's been around these, the detail of their goal kicking. Staying in matches, is so important to be able to take your points when they come on offer to build the scoreboard because the electric electricity dance. of their attack will always happen but you don't always get away with it yeah. Australia, uh, Fiji the line the line please Australian line out, Parecki. Got a call from Stephen Moore to congratulate him on being the Australian captain. Well, it's kept secret that Will Skelton was out in these parts. In the last 24 36 hours, Nick White. There's talk of Skelton potentially out for the tournament. Whispers and rumours. Carter Gordon takes it in. Nick White again. Arnold. Goes high. Yeah, can't can't take it. Nick Wright does. White down the and short side well. for Tyre. Put it on the boots. We are playing an advantage. Goal line now. Goal line. Goal line there. Two very good kicking yeah. options from Australia, yeah, just pinning yeah. down Fiji in the territory. First one from All Nick White, where Fiji. the competition in the air creates a knock on. The second one down into the 22. Just really smart rugby, isn't it? Nick White spearheading that. Taking of course, the uh, okay, vice captain seat. with concussion. Actually, a blessing in disguise that Nick White, there is. Doing all the best, of course, McWright. No! Second. Valentini. 
Release now. Him up. No, ball is there. Don't look for it. Slow ball for Carter Gordon. And the spell just caught behind that gain line. Does well to power back this way. To Wasek, took it in. First it's Marky Mark. Clear left on the ball, holding on. Good work from Bottier again, though. That's good. And Fiji can relieve the pressure Seven. from Seven this the penalty. Ball, they were going for every ball and in the breakdown. Asking Andrew no, Brace, no, is it no on, breaks. is it on? But what they were doing is not just going for the ball, but they were slowing down the breakdown and the, the, the ball speed for Australia which meant that as soon as they then got the co a positive collision, one of the best players in the world over the ball, Bottier, he's a complete savage when it comes to stealing the ball at the right down. I mean, it, the man is a magician. And he's like granite. And, and ladies and gentlemen, she means that. She's getting very animated here in the commentary box. But he's a wonderful player, isn't it? Surebi watching on. More! He's spotted. Bottier, actually. Thanks, mate. Seventh tournament many, many moons ago. The demolition man has been playing plenty in the centres. Last the few games. A flanker, though. For a volley was just shaping to go quickly. I think they'll go into That's the right. corner the here. Do you see what happened, though? Bottier stole it off his nine. He was like, no, That's mate. <laughs> We're taking points. And 35, it's hot. Oh, to the corner. Cool volley. No, no, it's nine, called nine. for the team. Sorry, mate. Brilliant arrows from Matavesi, the Fijian hooker, right at the top reach. And when you've got the height of all of the forwards in the Fijian pack, he's nailed it because the Australians are incredibly athletic, brilliant in the line out at the moment Ravani, Ravani, and it, it just makes such he's a difference to be able to get the ball in, your, in where you want it, set them all and then beat the penalty straight, that's Wales that's that not straight at all This time. Good volley. Extends the lead. Faultless from the team. Fiji 12, Australia 8. Seven or so minutes till half time. No, under the foot. Athletic pace. Fifty-four percent possession for Fiji as Carter Gordon knocks it on. And situations that the Fijians love could have volley. Knew where the space was. Hold. Jordan Pataya. Two. Respect That's again. a rocket move. Say again. CG, come on, please. Miles down Four. Time, Jesse Tremoulier in the crowd. Two meters, seven. The world's best player. Take him back. Stop! Trent Truman. Stop! attracting all the big stars oh, isn't it great to see Jesse here isn't it? wonderful player you've played against yeah. them many many times she'd love That's to be out here little betting do you want to see see oh, 
Valentini more judo than rugby. He slipped out of the back. And again. Yeah, go up. Hold. Hold is there. She's real, this Fijian oh, Growing and growing. They have the advantage again here. Advantage. Shot to nothing. Advantage outside, new advantage. And playing his rugby in France. And La Rochelle with Ronan O'Gara. Offside, no tackle over there. Used to winning. Giovanni Bottier. High tackle eight. And offside here. Two offences, high tackle yeah. and so offside. Here, here or there? Just about inside Fiji's half. Offside advantage. It's called. Tom off. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, it's offside. Playing advantage for high tackle. The yeah, you're good. Referee to Giano. Receiving some treatment. To lose any more second down, rows. So. You and I were at the uh, Australia Georgia game, weren't we? Nolly. Nick Skelton's influence on the team, not only his physical presence, but his captaincy as well. Ryan, just trust me to do the. To do I feel like they're missing that. I miss it, Ryan, yeah, although he has been pitch side, it. spotted him during the warm up. He's wearing a Big old compression bandage, probably the size of a sleeping bag, the wait, wait. size of his calves. But he was also a wearing one. a moon. Yeah, he's also wearing a moon boot. Happy five. All precautions five. to make sure that if they can get him back as quick as possible, they will be. But his captaincy yeah. has yeah, been superb, I think. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Clearly very calm. Clear clearly yeah, got the ears oh, of his team, and that's pretty much one of the most important things as a captain. Guys, go. you know, they've got wonderful talent, but they've got a young side. And they need to make sure that they've got what someone else? at the helm really inspiring, not just by their words, but how they play. Five big turnovers from him, so he's a huge loss. Come on. Told you all the best people here. Joe Roth, legendary Australian winger. We're going down to Nice seven. after this seven. one, England, Japan. Just seven marking your car. Pulled up. 7.15. ITV1. Go left on the board. No support there. The boy is there in Nice for that one. Another penalty to Fiji here in Saint Etienne, though. And they're building up these penalties, aren't they? Another area that Fiji have worked on really nine against Wales. That's six yeah. in a row now. Australia have conceded, and this time they're going to go into the corner. Big well, statement here. 8-12, couple of minutes left in this half. Fiji, six, seven metres shy of the Australian try line. Matavesi wants a ball that would help. Two and two. Big moments this for both teams. Australia just about tap that line out back. Hold. Gordon Stop. under extreme pressure clears. But Fiji will have another chance. They will, but not this yeah. close. It's an excellent battle okay, in the line Fiji, out at the go, moment. No but Frost stepping up in a really, really Stop. important time. And two receiver beyond 15. Yes. Seven cross it on. No, it's from Bottier. Accidental. Sense it, couldn't you? He knows just how important these moments are. They've lost to Wales. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Time this, on. as far as they're concerned, is, is do or die. Of course, Wales yeah. and so Australia yet right. to play. Okay, Fiji. Yeah, by the looks of things, Bottier just let go just of the ball and bounced the off the back. Let's go. Saying at the same time as Andrew Brace there. 
Left to the mark. Fair play Shoulder to the player that's nice calling the line out though to ask Matavesi. He's just had a line out stolen and they've gone a 15 plus metres and he's nailed it. But these things are huge. You have to take your points against the top teams. They've done it so far off the bit. They went for the line out and it hasn't counted yet. Points. Set. They stop. The tyre. Bad idea, wasn't it? The right foot up. Good gap. All the time. As far as he would have hoped. Seven. 30th cap today. The try score against Georgia. The seven crimson red player. 24 days over his 18th birthday. Good football. Well, that's a basic. Off the floor to play on. Guru Volley told to play on. RCC. Bubbles dangerously into touch. Wankani Tawase has to just watch it. No, not set. We're not set. It's an unbelievable line from Randranja. We're not set. Just a bit of confusion about going quickly on the line out. <laughs> it's a new ball, got to be set. Can't go quickly. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Well, there was plenty of talk, wasn't it, about penalties and yellow cards Fiji. and often they were given in the Fiji Wales game. Two metres too. It's, it's in the past now. Just spill that sets his lingering. The Fiji inside. Nick White says that will do for half time. Plenty to talk about for Eddie Jones at half time to his Australian side, but it is living up to the billing, isn't it? Fascinating second 40. But at half time here in Senetian, it's Fiji 12, Australia 8. Have a look at this for me, John Willie, because this is an Australia throw in. And I think the referee, Andrew Brace, brings it back because the defence Fiji aren't set. Fiji do go over, but it's pulled back. Talk us through it. It, it looks like a strange decision. <laughs> because Australia have elected to throw the ball in, so whether they're set or not is regardless. So the ball comes in and it's a bit of a get out of jail free car for Australia because they're not set and that ball could have gone anywhere. Perhaps both teams have to be set. Maybe both teams have to be set. George, just quickly ahead of the second half, do Australia need to switch anything up or just stick at it? Well, they need to get more possession. They need to play in the right parts of the field because at the moment it's been 57% possession uh, to Fiji and they've had 63% of the field position. So they need to flick that around and play. Okie dokie, right, time to hand back to our commentary team in Saint Etienne, Nolly Waterman yeah, and Johnny Hammond. Very much in control, Fiji. I think, uh, in that first half, yeah, as George was just saying, territory in possession, very much on their side. You remember that last 10 minutes against Wales, 85% territory. All the way to the end of the game in that Inside. one. Top. Hold. May well need to in this one as Donaldson very assured in that first 40 minutes. As clear as the line, just having a quick scan to see if there's been any changes. Don't close. As, as, as they were. Sad matter basic. Bottier, Valentini, the reception party. Could have volley. And go up. Hobson. Good run into Tosso as an option. Wayne Golo trying to get in between the defenders. Okay. But look at this. Boom time from Bottier. There was no change of direction. It was, I'm just going to run at you as hard yeah, as possible. Play down. And we're going to battle it out in a collision. Play it down. The bounce into the space. 
That's excellent defence from Pattaya because he wrapped up the ball carrier's arms, which meant the offload couldn't come. I think if it had been popped over, it could have been a try. I don't know. Line out called. Really, Botti is known as a demolition man. I think I prefer line out called. Boom town Botti. Guys, we'll just wait on the call. There's something the Australians have been doing this week, a real focus this week, to identify that offload, doing everything they can, obviously, keeping those tackles nice and low, but making sure wherever they can that Fiji can't get those offloads away because we know just how dangerous they can be in Australia in that department. have done reasonably well so far. Yeah, they have. They have. They've only given away one penalty from a, from tackle height, but they have given away four at the breakdown, and I think a lot of that is, is because good? of the momentum that the Fijian carriers get when they really run hard. Yeah, substitution. Go look. Bring him on. Yeah. Too long, Matt. Not the way he would have wanted to end his World Cup debut. Bring him on, Luke. Running in tries for fun for too long. The winning Challenge Cup season, six tries in all. Looks nasty, doesn't it? Like left ankle. Claire to win the World Cup with injury. And Von Sick is the man to replace him. There he is. Two and two and two. 92. Plays his trade for up in Paris. More. The use of these big noisy crowds. One stop. Backwards. Australia. To Nick That's Frost. Line That's over. Take that line up. Tiny slice of sunlight in the stadium. Brilliant stadium hosted. World Cup football matches and the World Cup matches as well. But again, he is having the scrum half, general play, and off the no, tee no, as well. Foot. Now, oh, the box kick skill. Everybody's missed it. Fiji to a sober. Try time. From nothing. All, all second in the back end. Is that close? Yeah, he's all second in the back end. So Remy celebrating the big cheers, and there's so many of them here celebrating as well. Nobody claimed it. And the ball landed right in the middle. Carter Gordon should have been the one that he was coming forward. You normally see the person coming from the back claim the ball, but he he pulled out. Miscommunication and then two is over. Right place, right time. It's Cheers, mate. Shoulder shoulder, Warren, is it? And a wonderful dive. Yeah. Yeah. It's no clear push, baby. It's shoulder to shoulder coming together. It's not a clear push off the ball. Not for me. It's a shoulder, it's a shoulder, shoulder coming together. Fiji, Fiji, Fiji. Not a clear touch. Ringing off out the ball. here. Sinetia. Good boy. Thanks, man. Cool volley. Faultless in that first half. <laughs> oh, my word! It's a way to add two extra points to this. Yeah. This is a huge score for Fiji. They put all the pressure on in the last few minutes in the first half, didn't convert the points. And to take seven, they've really ramped up the pressure now. 11 points clear. Abosi did well. Really tight 
realistic for him to just stay in field. Now nine. Good body charged out. Offside, five balls. Richards. Thanks, uh, Locker. Five offside. Yeah, Set up offside. Got a big frame. Offside. Yeah, look at those boots. You can see they're in line with Bell's legs, not behind his boot, five. not behind the backmost point of the breakdown. I think we would have, if he had been onside, it would have been the first poor kick from Kuruvali. He's a bit of a concern there because he's on the floor. Well, it looks like potential cramp. If you if you roll the ball, I'm not saying you are, but if you roll the ball, that is out, that is out now. Okay, so he can come round on the bit. Just being warned okay, by. Time on. Number three. The setup offside. Five. Did you brace? The setup offside. Five. Just be careful in rolling that ball back. That's a fabulous game he was having. Activate his throw. Doesn't work out. Fraser right. Well. Yeah, away now. And the slipper. Closing in on George Griegan's World Cup appearances for Australia. There's 18. Going to this one. 18 now. It's not too far from yeah, Australia. Captain or scrum? Scrum or 22? 22. 22. It's a couple of times we've seen the option by Australia no and they superb su yeah, steal at the line yeah. out. The pop down by yeah. the break down, but Carter Gordon yeah. showing his slight foot why he can be such an attacking threat. But Come Fiji off. have got his shirt marked, they've been get, catching him whenever he runs. But those kicks are good options, but they're just not quite as accurate as they'd want them, whether they've gone dead or whether. They've been marshalled over. It's a huge change, and you kind of only got to think that this is because he's he's limping. Let's go. Come on. PG, ready? Oh, sorry, time off. The crowd have told you everything you need to know about the young man's performance. Lamani on. Come on, let's go. Shoulder out, and nice and straight, everybody. Folks! Boys! Is that a right call for you? I mean, he's kicking like a dream. I think, yes, his kicking's great, but no player is worth keeping on if they're injured. Angle one across. And he was limping, whether it was cramp or whether across. it was a neural from straight. something like that, because he was lifting his head or they were stretching him. But Lamani, he coming on, he's experienced, he's the one we're so used to seeing in a Fiji shirt. So I have no doubt around the field he'll be excellent, but he's got some big boots to fill now from the goal kicking point of view. Number one, stay square, please. You gotta stay square. Number 30 as they get the penalty from the scrub. Seemed that way, didn't it? 9-3 now on that penalty count. Just creeping up for Australia. Very, very tight call for that number nine shirt. Oh. Simon Raloui said this week. Oh. Side eight. And the volley yeah. started. Number eight goals, early offside, number eight. Well, Valentini is now offside. <laughs> Look at the Fijian forwards. Yeah, so number eight, the call is advancing offside, number eight goals. Okay, he has to hold the ten. It's so it's fourth. So Andrew Bracewick said it really clearly there. 
is actually a penalty you quite often get has been missed over it's recent old. years with the the back and, and the, the defensive the line encroaching up to the line out but you've got to stay 10 meters until the ball is out of the line out yeah good so officiating and uh from a knock-on from the lamani can he knock this over to make it a 14 point difference Frank Lamani two from two against Wales Just pulled it round Place. Volley. One, two, and three. I'd have got that one. And Australia. No chance, Johnny, and neither would have I. That's a huge amount of pressure. Ten, Australia. Absolutely no, not me. Ten, Australia. For a volley. Ah. <laughs> Easy one, two, and three. See, that's a pretty ballsy. Yeah, you said one, two, three, three, three. Be past the ball, so it's not one, two, three, 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 three. No? Okay. Carter Gordon okay, goes off. Along. Hold. We need to watch that. Huge pressure. Five out. Yeah, Did out. so well, the young winger, because it is all Fiji at the moment. And use it. Stay. Contest fair. Contest is fair, says the referee. Nathalabu wrapped it up, didn't he? Just tidied things up on that use far it. side. Stay on. One. Lamani. No more. Just brings his game now, doesn't it? Oh, to to a sec. Huge boot on him. Nice to Nice to see one, two, and three from the back. Come off. Time. Okay. A whole new front row for Fiji. Fifty-minute mark. That's a big old shift from the boys up front. Come on. Masterbasi's been nailing his lineouts, which is awesome to see the Northampton hooker. And the scrums have been big, big and solid too. Oh, on that side head. Come back to those replacements in a minute. There he is, the new tight head anyway. Lamani, Nathalebu, Buidrabuvalu to give his full name. And to us over the try scorer floats it over the top. You see what he was trying to do. It's touched, not live. And again, rather like in that opening 10 minutes or so, attacking those yeah. wide areas. Here he is, the granite limpet. Back Cheers, thanks for that, Botia, stealing it. The patience and the control nine, from, nine, from nine, the nine. Fijians is brilliant. I think it needed to go so wide on this one. They were lining up on the left-hand side. It didn't, and it was the both, it was the to a saver Randranda. It will stick. They were the two that passed to each other when it got dropped against Wales. Two of the older statesmen in this Fijian side. Not quite sure he needed to go with the skip pass. To be honest, he probably could have gone through the hands to hold the defence. But every time the Fijians are building momentum, they've got threats everywhere. And the Australians, it, it, there's 
this pressure in the defence. It seems to be this, this scrambling. And I don't think I'll be more sure of anything I've said today, but the crowd are fully behind them. All the neutrals, all the Fijian fans. Come on. Wonderful scenes. Pubs and clubs and bars, cafes, fans mingling, flags going around. Exactly what this World Cup is all about. Valentini. White. That's the bus and Donaldson. Let's come up to play 10. Bunifalo. It's got too much on it. Bunifalo's gone out to that right wing. Wukanita Wase's gone in at fullback. Donaldson's come up to 10. I wonder whether that was going to be the original play anyway from Eddie Jones. Game yes, control that Donaldson no. has. Clearly a calm head out there. Definitely the right call to put it on his boot for Vunivalu. Yeah. But again, yeah, yeah. look at the frustration of the fans. Yeah, Last yeah. week we saw a kicking masterclass at times from the Australians. This yeah. time they got a bit too much lead in their boots. They're it, putting Something it too like hard it. along this floor. It's clearly very hard down there and it's bouncing, kicking on, going dead. Guys waiting for that new front row. Yeah, that will come to here. Have you the Guys, new personnel, okay? Control, oh, please. Time, yeah. Control, don't get ahead of me. Okay? Let's go, guys, let's go, the please. Two nines in the background having a laugh with each other. Don't get ahead of me. Space and balance. What pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows Folks. the difference of personalities we have in rugby. I played nine, I loved it. You don't have to deal with the hard work of scrummaging. Six. Stable. Nowhere else to be in the middle of that scrub. Stop! Come on. Vey is the new loose hit. Trying to get. Just to try and play that territory. Rudy Varno taken. It's way to give you the mark. No, he never held. You're in front of the kicker of Benson. 21. You did it well. Never held. In front of the kicker. Benson of... in front. I've got it here. Going back to where the ball was yeah, kicked. Number nine, in front of the kicker. 21. It's written one, really isn't it? Who's in front? Definitely not he their best first phase. They were all really deep to Sova ran his cut line back in to try and hold the defence super early. But because all of the passes were so deep behind the gain line, it meant that the Australians could drift off. So pretty much the only option for Nayef Alevi was to kick it. But normally the nines, they're running those cheek lines. They are in front of the ball two because they're the wanting front. to get to the breakdown Nine. as quick as possible. There's no point running back to then come forward. But you do get caught out if one of your centres kicks the ball and you have to, if you keep keep going forward. Finding good. Just More. seeing this game management from Fiji. Six, don't change. Clearly Six. want to play all their rugby down on our right-hand side in the Australian half. Through the middle there. Goal Off players the floor. back of that. Historic win, of course. We're tricking them against England in the warm-up games. Frost is rather alone, and then Fiji tried the counter up. Come to good, and they have, and there's numbers Come on that good. left hand side. You've gone to pick it up, and you've lost it on. Yeah. The counter rock is good, you've gone to pick it up, you've lost it on. Frost with the big carry, but he's so yeah. isolated. He only had no one going to yeah. out there. Yeah, you kind of think. Okay, Are the Australian uh, forwards starting oh, to feel it in their legs? Are we going to see some substitutions because they were really slow from the set piece getting really around? And then, and then he's knocked it on and he's picked it up. It is, okay? 
I know where you're going. And then here they are. Yeah. A couple of people from the bench to add some energy. Nine and three. What about that counter run? <laughs> and the look. Nine, nine and three. Pop it's just a run Isaac finds Lily Wassa on a scrum half. Nick White comes off, James Slipper comes off as well. Nick White definitely wouldn't have been the person that I would have taken off though. I think in terms of his control, in terms of his leadership, in terms of his kicking, you know, it hasn't all been on point but today, but he's a, a superb rugby player. And at the moment, they need their leaders to step up. They're missing their captain, their vice captain in Skelton and McDermott for this tour. Okay, nice and straight, new personnel, nice and straight. And Ollie, this, is a, this is a tight game. Yeah, we'll go time on. You know, the two time tries on. from nothing against the runner play. It's going to come down to the why. You want to be playing rugby in the right areas. And someone like Nick White with his kicking game. That's a decision from Eddie Jones. Fourth World Cup, third as a head coach. She's been here, he's done it before. Good height. He's going to do what's up. He's going around his left hand side, but too obvious, wasn't it? He's going to scrum off again. Frost this time with more players around him. One of them is Pattaya. Nongo. Placing the slipper in that front row. Karevi, got a Betty. Oh. Oh. My word. Backwards again. And uh, what's up? Busy. Adding that energy. Karen Betty, second run this time. Away now. You make no mistake, Fiji, with a tackle. Australia building here. Got to be patient. Tarecki, the captain. Australia to the crowd, finding their voices oh, to then only the find the disappointment. Holding on. 12 on the race. Fair left on the ball. Holding on. Talk about leaders stepping up in important moments. To us over, another unit over the ball. Brilliant technique, and Australia were building nicely. It was a little bit scrappy at times, but they, it was the first time we've seen actually some continuity from them. The people coming in, not just the ball carrier was exploding into contact, but the clears were coming through. There was energy from Fiennes and Liwasa, but the, the Fijians are just being relentless. They've got an yeah. inch of space to get into that jackal position. They, they're over it and they're killing it for Australia. Coming to 18 PG. 18 PG, they play. Funny, Bottia. Sucking in the big ones. 14 Seven. tackles already in this game. Hangy's having to come back on. Seven Fiji off, okay. He's coming. Guga. He's going off for yeah. an HIA. Arms off. Looks like the only picture is coming off as well. Yes. Come on. I mean, he's another unit. He's just a little bit taller. He put in a huge shift last week against Wales. Big energy coming off the bench. Taken back and hold in front. Stop. Stop. I've lost the man. 
Sure. We lost a shirt in town, didn't we, on the way to the ground? They get everywhere. The mobile shed. Yeah. Important period of the game, this, isn't it? These don't need to chase, do they? 11 points up. Look like conceding. Yeah, Rewind first. four years to 2019 in the opening match between these two teams and Fiji were yeah, up go. at 60 minutes the mark, but they're only up one point and then Australia really put their foot down and lots of territory points flying in everywhere from Karevi and Corin Betty got an excellent try in that match so you know, when Australia have had the ball when they built phases they've looked exciting but at the moment Fiji are dominating everything possession territory penalty count the whole lot context as well I mean, it just doesn't matter but the last time Fiji won it's Australia 19 17 on the outside not driving straight Do you remember that same one as, same as the one over there I'm going to ask before or after you were born drive straight please Andrew Bates explaining there Ravahi coming out and, and pushing in and when you see a scrum wheel quite often if there is that much speed someone is influencing it but by doing that you're also taking PG, away the, line, the supporting back row of the Australians and including and line putting into a really good position the Fijian back row big moment now Jordan Lawson more Australia to floor for the captain Perecki, just plenty of fresh legs out there. Look at that turnover work. Brilliant, brilliant work. man, strong over the ball and lift. There's a tackle machine against Wales. And this for a turnover. And, then, and that's the risk if you break away from a mall. Ua Lacey getting isolated. Ten. Ten. have been ridiculous on the jackal. Respect the cap, Australia. Thank you. It's 12 penalties now conceded by Australia. Teams looking to keep it to single figures. And it's over. The official set is only the four turnover, but Kareri and Pataya trying to create something now. Another penalty. Okay, then. Sixth penalty. Fiji have conceded. To Isova, the try scorer. The swallow diver. Just a captain, please. Captain. Yes, a seatbelt okay. tackle, isn't it? Over the shoulder. Oh. Problem is, his arm, his arm goes over the it shoulder. Is, his biceps are so big, it hit the head. Quite high. That's it's the like third it. one. I spoke to you in the first half, and it's the second one by him. Okay, we need lower tackles, please. Thank Sorry. you. Good officiating from Andrew Brace. Oh. I think. To has got exactly. away with potentially one there in terms of you know a card or anything or anything more because at the moment Fiji are only on five penalties they've they've been really clean we had those first two penalties right at the start of the game two high tackles in three minutes he spoke to them that's Hold the next up. one big long time between then and now so there isn't that intensity around that same mistake happening over and over again good. got Come into on. the corner to Donaldson one stop. He gets his throw right, and he's at the bait back of this driving more. Try to crab it round the right hand six. side, but Fiji and use it. holding strong. Sideways. Have to use it now. Finds the little wasa. Finds his back, and again Fiji midfield. Man who's just given the penalty away. For the tackle, wins a big, big turnover.
Tackle is fair. First man on the board. It's awesome work initially from Karevi, the acceleration, but that's five turnovers on the ground for Fiji. And in such crucial parts of the field, they're just taking the sting out of this Australian attack. It's either been a penalty from a, and a jackal, or it's, they've kicked him behind and it's gone dead. Just not allowing Australia to, to gather any sort of rhythm within their game to build up any phases. This has tactically been very, very okay, impressive so. from Fiji. And I'd also throw in there, controlled, very controlled in what they're doing, absolutely playing to their strengths. When they put the, the ball, ball in the air, the, ball, okay? the vast majority of the time they've got somebody to compete, to put pressure, and if they don't put pressure on in the air, they're whacking the player as soon as they're on. Last week we saw Georgia kick the ball and give Australia acres of room and time, and they absolutely tore up. Penalty away, another attack for Fiji. Manja. The Lebu can't take it. Playing on. Just wait. Don't wait, guys. But the, the referee is burning his whistle here because player injured. There's absolutely no doubt. Everybody here, everybody involved in rugby safety comes first, has to come first. These players. Andrew Brace just identifying to taking him off the ball. It is their penalty, that'll be the resumption. See which player it is now for Australia. Yeah, yeah, give Australia. Flying out of the line. Just confirm that. He, uh, 16 took uh, I think 16 off the ball. Flying. It's been another fabulous weekend of rugby, hasn't it? We wrap things up down in Nice. Pool D, England up against Japan. All the build up, quarter past seven. It's going to be two penalty. Yes, it's going to be a, penalty. Be a fascinating to way to it's finish off this weekend. Because 16 took him off the ball. Yeah, the There's a big story brewing here in Saint Etienne. Never had the ball. Yeah, it was 16 on 16. Uwalesi yeah. thinking that Ikanivari was going to catch the ball. And unfortunately, catching his head on the wrong side, and that was a big ball carrier to to take a whack from. Good, really, really good work from Andrew Brace to stop the game dead then. And also the fact that he's up and he managed to walk off the field. He was on the touchline, maybe again. Very close to a dreadful injury. Posts pushes it out to 14 points. Fiji 22, Australia 8, and Simon Rao Louis. May well be busy tonight, but if we could squeeze in a game of poker, he'd be excellent at that as well. No sign of emotion whatsoever. I'd love to have a heart rate monitor on him though. Yeah. You know, it's interesting when you speak to kickers because I definitely wasn't one of them. But Ooh. kicking in front of the post isn't always actually as easy as people think because you can hook it. And a big substitution with Karevi coming off. Is
is Eddie Jones looking forward, fast forwarding now his thoughts to Wales. Interesting, isn't it? Onside, onside. Use it! In Leon, 24. Wales against Australia. There's a course for the win over Fiji in this pool, but Fiji has to grab bonus points. Finishing with in seven points. Okay. And four tries as well. Wales with a maximum five points yesterday. Got fallen down live. Yeah, no foul play. Anything that was goes high. It's too far though. Yeah. So I see six. In various short of the back there, the Nats. Australia's yeah, turn to get the turnover. So there is still plenty of time in this one. There is indeed excellent jackal turnover from Australia. The kick was bang on the money outside the 22. So Jersey C couldn't do the mark, which would slow the game down. And Fakete with the jackal straight on the field, having an impact. Sorry. Exactly what you want for the bench. 12. 12. Just to come back on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, assessment. Petito comes on. Joshua Tuas over. Personified. <laughs> what a game he's had. Just outstanding. Effort Come upon on. effort. Throwing his body around, scored the try. More. Stay on. Petito and his teammates now have to six, do six, some six. defensive work. And Australia have got a little drive six. on here. It's gone down now. New advantage. You know, Vancic. Running Vano. Somehow That's squeezes good. through That's the good. middle of it That's and has given good. Australia a lifeline. Crowd haven't gone quite as wild as we've heard with the other scores. A couple of times we've seen. Big stretch there, but a couple of times we've seen Fiji not compete at the line out, so they've been able to repel them all. But the momentum they got, it split the Fiji defense. It was already a penalty advantage. You can see all the white shirts all over the place. I think the, there's booze around the crowd because it looks like he dropped it, but there was contact with his arm for me the whole time. Fire's good. There's a new advantage to another penalty coming and close to the try line. Who knows where the referee would have gone, but the try is awarded now. It's in the history books. Donaldson, very good indeed. Needed to as well. Needed to because it gets them within seven. It's incredibly important score for Australia. The body language of the team, both teams, there's a huge effort on effort that's already gone into 70 minutes. Now it's about patience, it's about control. Can the bench that have come on keep the energy high? Tony Varno, try scorer. Ten games for Fiji's rugby league side. Good gap, Australia. Australia. Into the final ten minutes. Third time, open the gap, please. Thank you.
always going to be a fascinating pull, wasn't it? Matt Phillip, due to be playing, pulled onto the bench. Fiji. It's a hand in there. Too good, wasn't it? The turnover. It's bounced out to touch. Line out goes the other way. This time, Frost gets in there. Scrappy okay. ball, though, Last for seat. Australia. Well. Valentini just happy to take that static loop. Stay on. Reset. And use it! No. I sure think Australia, one in seven. That is not on. Is this one going? Oh, Lily, what's up? And Valentini. And there's numbers on that right hand oh, side. Go. He's trying to go through the middle, Valentini. Frost. That's the 22 meter line. Funivalu. Now Australia with some phases, some, some rhythm. Workhorse again, Valentini. Going down that short side. Funivalu is holding on. Fiji, the turnover kings. They're left on the ball. The tension every time Australia have the ball within this stadium go, is Fiji. unreal. Fiji, let's go. It was Valentini with the bust through the middle that got them into this position, but Rantrandra, again, senior player, step up. Wonderful low position, wide body, hands gripped over the ball, lifted it off the floor, made it super clear for Andrew Brace. I've got this, and they're not giving it to me. So, so powerful. Gold medalist. We have to get back to another World Cup quarter final. Did it in 87. Moves into France. 07. Ball is lifted. The straight down 14. Yeah, he's checking in the back end. Checking in the back end. Yeah. Always checking those with the penalty to Fiji. I heard the whistle. Okay, straight down up to feet. Nayathilebu. Corobetti. It's good tackle from the 13, Nayathilebu, oh, but it's Jersey C that Australia was saying is a no arms tackle. Okay, and we've just heard from. It, it sounds like uh, they've checked with Brian McNeese. I said he was okay. It's all good. Yeah. It's and, all good. and these checks are going on, Ollie, aren't they? To keep the, the, the pace of the game going. I agree or not, they, they are being looked at, they're being checked. Australia making that point, Andrew Brace just conveying it to the Australian players because it's a, again, it's another big penalty and it's a big line out take. And do you know what? It's a big driving ball off the back of it as well. One stop! Namani. That one gone. On the, the, the wrap round, but he was two or three meters yeah. short of where T2 thought he was going to be. Tomari says, Tomari will go to the skies. Colin Betting. Stop! Quiet, isn't it? So the 22. Just Outside. about take it. TG! To RCC. Why are they not marking the ball? Slow the game down. Fiji. Right. Hold the tire. Take the mark. No. <laughs> Hold. Jouet, Jouet. 
Bonjour. Donaldson. This is the Rugby World Cup. Or ping pong championships. Gigi. Stop. It's 17. The in the middle. Just standing on the halfway line. It's outside. The forwards haven't moved uh, two or three minutes. There's the outside backs are just firing it down to one another. 50. Benito Wasse. He's taking it quickly again. Then is Lewasa. Under pressure. Nuvalo. Finally gets it out of touch. And a bizarre, bizarre passage of play comes to an end. That, Andrew Brace did look at that. When it was a 50 22. It was 22 to 22. <laughs> All right, baby. Oh, no, straight out before the 22. That was a good old game of force back, wasn't it? Kick, kick, kick. And Fiji coming out on top. Three and a half minutes left here to Etienne. Paul six. Fiji. Not beaten Australia since 1954. History books will look after themselves. It's about the here and now. Having lost so agonisingly to Wales. Contest for lost on. They felt they had to win this game. They are minutes shy of doing so. And it has been a really, really impressive performance across the board. They've been remarkable at times. The control, Time off. the let's efficiency. Go, let's go. And let's be honest, jackaling heroes as well. They've completely squeezed the life out of Australia around the breakdown. But I will say, Johnny, yes, we're less than three minutes away, but this Australian team have got something about them and enough about them to be it. They may not get the win, but I think they could break the heart and get the draw. We shall see. Need the ball first. No, straight up. Reset. Straight up, says stand, Andrew stand Brace. It's gone round consistently. Was saying exactly the same in the first half, and that. Stay down, stay down if you want to get reward. Clock in that top left-hand corner just continues to no, tick no, away. Time off. You must stay down, everybody. Stay down, everybody. Looking at the Fiji rugby social media before the match, some wonderful content on the support, brilliant array of good luck messages from all sorts of little ones all around the island. And there's one particular stood out, not just a team, they're a symbol of unity, determination and pride of the nation. That's how much this team means to, to the Fijian community back home. This is huge for them. They've experienced this with sevens, haven't they? The entire country came to a standstill. Twice now, gold medalist now. The boys in 15 to do it. Nine for level. Pahusi just had to stop on the pass. Come off. And it just halted the move down this right hand side. Lovely carry from Nyan Levy, the captain. But the defence from the Aussies, absolute last ditch work rate right from them. Come on. Two and two. Okay. Straight up with possession, but it's in their 22. And hold in front, two. Hold on. Not a bad option from Australia getting territory. Quite Fiji. rightly. I would suggest Joshua Tuso is the host broadcasters. Okay. Player of the match. The penny for the thoughts of Simon Raoui into the final Nine. minute. Fiji with the line out. It's secure. It's Still moving. Mani. T2. It's knocked on. Australia will have another chance. 
Australia will have another chance. Australia's line-out defence was has been excellent, in particular okay, now the Akane Barry has been on. But that front bank of four was excellent from Fiji. But this, yeah. this is high in your mouth. The chance around the stadium. Last play has been called by referee Andrew Brace. They think they're okay to celebrate, but this is Australia. Any sporting Australian side will fight to the bitter death. Huge scrum from Fiji. Penalty Fiji. The game to Fiji. It's huge. Ninth eleven goes for the posts because Australia are within seven. That means they would get a losing bonus point if it finishes as it stands at the moment. It's brilliant captaincy, it's clear thought. In the most intense environment. It is, Johnny, but if the ball doesn't go dead and Australia get it, it's play on. He has to bang this through the posts. And if it misses, it needs to go as far possible into the stands as he can make it. And see a few Fijian flags behind the posts. That's where he needs to aim. Craig Lamani to deny Australia the bonus point. He can't do that. And there it is. Fiji with a huge, huge win in this World Cup. They said this week it was do or die. We wondered whether they would be able to reload from that emotional and physical performance against Wales. But tactically, brilliant today. They've done it for their nation, they've done it for each other. And you can't help but love this Fijian side. Johnny, I just feel privileged to be here. Very, very, very special occasion. And you've got to take your hats off to them. That's an 80-minute performance from 23 men.